Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Christmas! Yes, let me wipe my windshield. Uh, Christmas things are happening. Christmas is in three days. My brother's supposed to be coming on the 24th on Christmas Eve. I'm probably gonna film it. Probably gonna film everybody opening presents. I don't know. The last gift that I ordered came in today. And the company that I order from, first of all, the first time I ordered from them, I ordered twice. I wasn't going to get the second thing, but I ended up doing just that. Well, let me explain. Okay. So my family is doing Secret Santa. So we all made a list. Each one of us made a list. We even put stuff on there that we wanted and the limit was $60, you know, and you just meet that limit. I'm not gonna say who I got because I don't know when I'm gonna put out this video. I'll be right back. I need to get the freaking key. I have to take my key with me. I'm back. Oh my God, I do not feel good. I am extremely short of breath and my body keeps trying to kill me. Every time I go to sleep, I, I, I've been asleep all day today. I'm just gonna say that. It's almost six o'clock. I've been asleep since I woke up. <laughs> I woke up at nine and then I woke up at 10 and then I went to sleep at 12 or one and I've been asleep the whole time. Just cause like, I don't feel good and my body <laughs> will not let me be awake. I was napping and then out of nowhere, I can't breathe. And I wake up and I start coughing and I'm, I'm having a coughing fit. It feels like there's like a f like fluff in my throat. Like every time I cough, swallow, sniff, breathe, <laughs> it starts to like, it starts to feel, you know, weird and I need to cough more. So I, I can barely breathe because every time I do, the second I do, my throat just closes and it's like, ah, you gotta cough more. Ah, ah, ah. <coughs> I was coughing so hard that my like sinuses started to clear up. And it's like, I'm trying to sniff because it's like, I don't want to make a mess. But when I sniff, it makes me cough. And then when I swallow, it makes me cough. And then when I breathe, it makes me cough. And then when I cough, that makes me cough. And I ended up coughing so much for so long that my abdominal muscles just gave up on me. I was so exhausted, I couldn't even keep my head up. I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I seriously was like on the verge of passing out. <laughs> oh, and then finally, <laughs> finally, <laughs> I stopped coughing. So then I'm like, damn, I'm just gonna like, I go back to sleep. Cause that, that, mm -mm -mm, that drained me. It, it happened again, it's five something. I'm not even gonna try to sleep anymore. I've, I've given up on sleeping. Anyways, to the mailbox. So, uh, Secret Santa, we're getting gifts for the family. Um, of course, some of us are getting extra because, you know, we don't roll that way. We don't do the whole, like, just get it for your secret. Uh, I call it secret child, but I don't think that's right. And it, it, it sounds weird, but I don't know what to call it because I'm Santa. So who are you? My last gift uh, was coming today. And this, this company that I order from, first of all, like I said, the first time I ordered from them, they called me from the headquarters. One of the people called me from the headquarters just, just to tell me that they shipped my order. Either they are bored and have nothing to do because they get no business or they are just so on top of it and they are busy, but somehow still find the time to make me feel special. And then they also include bag, like small bags of uh, sweets with the like orders. But the thing is, is everything they include is disgusting. Like, do you really think that people like this? It, they act like their demographic who's like buying stuff from them were born in the 1940s. Seriously, they include like bit of honey, uh, or, uh, fireballs, uh, peppermints. Tootsie Rolls, like what, what the? I want Chick-fil-A, but at the same time, I feel like that's not like the healthiest thing. Oh, what I was saying, shit, what I was saying, this was, this story was going somewhere and I completely got distracted. What I was saying was that these people sent candy and it's very shady because it's in a, like a, just a, a um, 
crimped, like a crimped plastic bag, you know, they use heat to crimp the bag so it stays closed. And um, my stomach was hurting from hunger and I ate one of the Tootsie Rolls. And you think I would have learned my lesson, you know, eating strange candy and all that. Speaking of strange candy, apparently while I was sick, I bought a Cane Hill shirt. I remember Cane Hill announcing that their tour from merch, but the, <laughs> their merch from tour was going on to the shop. Anyways, that's what I'm grabbing right now in the mailbox. It was supposed to come tomorrow, but I got an email saying, your package is here. Apparently it was here at 12 p.m. And I had no idea, but I'm excited. I've always wanted a piece of Cane Hill merch. And finally, I saw something that was up my alley because it's simple. I also didn't know what size to order it in, so I, I can't remember if I got a large or extra large. Oh my God. Packaged by Elijah Witt himself. I'm just kidding. What, what did Elijah say? First of all, <clears throat> when Cane Hill talking about their tour i mean they're fuck why am i mixing these two words up their merch for that little tour that they were doing elijah posted something about it or can't, i can't remember which one elijah and the cane hill webpage they posted almost the exact same shit they announced that they like were having special merch on the tour that they were doing and I was gonna go, but then I saw it was in Memphis and I was like, I'm not driving two hours to the most dangerous place in Tennessee by myself to see this band. Like, uh, no, <laughs> I'm not risking, I'm not risking my life like that. They posted the pictures of the special merch that they were going to be selling on tour on Instagram. And I really liked the white one. I didn't know it was a long sleeve, but I liked the white one. And uh, I was like, I just said, I like the white one. And then I, <laughs> Elijah or someone was like, you are correct. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Tour was canceled because um, some, some people got sick and people were wondering, hey, are you gonna put the merch, the rest of it, onto the website. And then Elijah made a post the other day <laughs> mocking us. <laughs> Being like, when are you gonna put the merch on the website with candy and that special gifts? <laughs> so I went and I looked at the white shirt and I thought about getting it, but I feel like I don't look good in long sleeve shirts. <laughs> I don't know why. Plus the smallest size that they had was an extra large. I am a size extra small to small. But the thing is, it's like my t-shirt, I ordered it in like an extra large. It's my first time ever ordering from Le Cane Hill. Yeah, I just got like, I got, what did I get? The barbed wire t-shirt. Oh my God. It's like absolutely huge. Anyways, which is, I love it. Period, eh, period. Uh. Did I order? I actually, no, this is a large. So imagine, let me turn the light on. <laughs> imagine if I were to order the extra large. This is a large. <laughs> this is a, it's probably taking up the whole frame. Anyways, woo, Cane Hill, baby. Oh my gosh. I waited so long for this. I've waited, not ordering this and waiting that long, but I mean like I waited so long to get a piece of Cane Hill merch. I have been stocking their online store since like forever. Same with Bad Omens. Like Bad Omens and Cane Hill are my favorite bands of all time. Ever since Bad Omens even like dropped their store, I have been looking at it because I want to have something, at least just one thing by, you know, like the people that I enjoy listening music to from. Who, what, what's the English? The, 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 the problem, the problem that I'm faced with when it, when it comes to, if I keep stuttering, the problem that I'm faced with is that I'm not the kind of person who really likes wearing band merch. When I was younger, of course I did. I was all about it. However, as I got older and I started to actually develop a sense of style, I stopped wearing band merch. Oh, um, the main reason is because I had come to like very simplistic clothing. I like simple stuff, simple colors, simple designs, just nothing that's too much. A lot of band merch is not simple. It's got like a so much stuff going on, so much colors or so much just like a large design. And I'm I just I'm not the biggest fan of that. So I I just wait for something to come out 
that's my style. And finally, Kane Hill came out with something that uh, I really, really like, that I feel like I can wear. When it comes to Bad Omens, their merch about, I don't know when, when this merch was coming out, but I saw it on people probably three or four years ago. And it was just a simple, like, black, black shirt, black hoodie that just said the Bad Omens with that, like, line going through it. You know, you know what I'm saying? That line-ish thing, whatever that is. I've seen that, and I've seen some other just very simple pieces for Bad Omens. And that's what I want. I want that. But, you know, when I go onto the website and I look at the merch, it is, it's a lot. I'm not the biggest anime fan, so... Like, I've seen some of these animes, okay? I've seen anime. I don't mind anime. I just don't go out of my way to watch it. Unless it's Studio Ghibli, then I'll watch literally anything. Dude, I've been talking for like 16 minutes. I don't even know what the, I'm saying half the time. I can't even remember. Anyways, yeah, Bad Omens merch, a lot of it is anime themed and it's a lot going on with the design. I'm just not with it and I don't want to waste my money because, you know, shit ain't cheap, which is not a problem with me. I don't mind, but if I'm going to be spending the money, then I want to be getting something that I actually like and not just to have something with their name on it, you know? Is what I'm trying to get at here. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Bad Omens to come out with simple merch. I wanted the vinyl. I wanted the vinyl album for The Death of Peace of Mind and I was going to put it in a shadow box frame on my wall. Every time they open the store and drop things, I'm at work and then I forget and then it's sold out. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just waiting. That's the only thing I'm waiting on. That's the only thing now. So I've got my Cane Hill. I don't need anything else ever again. And then Bad Omens, that's it. My boy did not use a turn signal at all. And I know it's a boy because what kind of woman would put stickers of women on their car? And I'm not talking about anime women. I'm talking about, why is this song playing right now? Counting all the assholes in. We can say assholes? We can say asshole on the radio. I am like space. I'm blanking out right now. Oh, you can't say assholes. Okay. You can't say assholes on the radio. I don't understand how like you can listen to songs that have all kinds of words in them. Shows that have all kinds of words in them. Movies. And kids have access to all these things. Honestly, this whole video was just to show you my Cane Hill shirt. That's all. Goodbye. Running on me, I can buy the sun. You were the